Ukrainian eggs, or what we call pisenki, come from the Ukrainian verb to write. This is a time-honored tradition of ensuring wish fulfillment or bountiful harvest, fertility, protection, and good fortune. This was created on eggs with dyes and beeswax. My name is Teresa Somerset. Welcome to Precision Art Studio. Eggs are emptied and cleaned prior to creation. Initial lines are drawn onto the egg. This is called dividing the egg. This ensures repetitious designs are equal in size and shape. Measuring tools are as rudimentary as a paper strip or a rubber band, or as complex as an egg lathe. Some designs only require a few markings, while some larger, more complex eggs require several hours of planning everything out in detail. After drawing, lines are waxed over with a tool called a kitska, heated over a candle flame to melt beeswax. Early kitska were handmade with rudimentary materials. Electric versions require no flame and heat remains a consistent temperature. My favorite stage of writing is the initial waxing. These are the first lines written onto the egg. Some designs are made up of simple, clean graphic line work, while other designs involve a lot of flourishment and detail. The wax used in this process is beeswax and is best for writing on an egg. The wax can be tinted, making it easier to see when depositing it onto the shell. After the first waxing, it is time to dip the egg into dyes. A traditional color sequence begins with lightest to darkest color. With each subsequent color, a wax line is added or a shape is filled in. After the final color, all the wax is removed from the egg. Unwaxing is usually done by candle flame. As the wax melts, the egg is wiped with a soft cloth to reveal the bright colors. The last step is to give the egg a protective dip and varnish. What makes my batik eggs different from traditional pisenki? A variety of eggs are used from quail to ostrich. Patterns are inspired by fashion trends, seasonal color palettes, graphic design, symbolism, allegory, as well as nature in my own backyard. Wrapping complex designs requires problem solving skills and provides challenges on an elliptical canvas. Creating non-traditional color sequences and painting in the dyes with a brush create depth and illusion and requires an abundance of patience. Adding another non-traditional process called acid etching engages the viewer with a tactile feast for the eyes. The results, I believe, are well worth it. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my process and work with you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Live well. Create well.